Hello everyone, this is Plunky Gamer and I'm back with another episode of Black Sad and this is the fifth one. Uh, to recap, um, so we uh, met the officer, He's, he'd get, he had given a, a report on, uh, on the case of uh, uh, Joe Dunn. Um, we, uh, we, 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 yeah, we spoke to Mary, the woman in the diner. She told us that she loved him and uh, loved Joe Dunn and uh, they were going to get married. And uh, we we actually opened up and told this to Joe Dunn's daughter who didn't like it and um, probably fired her because she tore off the her name and de uh, inf like employee's details from the employee card, I guess. That's what it's called. Uh, and that's that, I guess, from the last episode. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Why not just continue and see where this goes. Okay, so what I'm planning to do is... So, they specified... They specified... Uh, where is he? Oh, Jordan, right here. Uh, the police report report cops had four marks on the neck and swollen knuckles okay that sounds like he tried to fight back swollen knuckles and four marks on the neck so i think now we need to go back to the gym and uh, uh, you know observe the the rope that he was that he allegedly used to kill himself let's do that let's walk let's walk Let's walk. <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of weird. I just got to keep, you know, pushing the analog stick to the left. It takes a long time for it to actually load. So I'm recording this on the second of Feb, which is a Sunday night here in India. How was your weekend up until today, up until now? Mine was pretty fine. I'm, I'm in, we had a family get together, got a little busy, wasn't able to stream this weekend. Uh, hope I actually get to stream next weekend. Or may I, you know, I try to, I'll try to make try time and at least uh, stream next weekend. I'll be posting uh, Black Sad videos this week. Um, I probably think it's going to finish up pretty much soon and then maybe maybe do Batman from the Telltale series let's see how it goes okay so now let's get in I don't know why something just doesn't add up okay now that's weird can't I go in Hmm. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. Last time he actually went in, stood stood on the stool, and oh, I have some clues to think. Of. Okay. Okay. Um. When Dunn died, his knuckles were swollen. There's a smudge racial slur painted on the okay. Maybe he has a cold. That's actually one clue. Someone threw a paint can in the trash. Who do the prints of the gym belong to? Okay, you know what? So it seems like he was in a fight. So I think I'm gonna... No? Okay. What does his weight and height have to do with anything here?
who do the fucking log out dude Could it be, I mean, why would they talk about his height and weight? Was he not able to reach the rope? Yeah? Hmm. Was murdered. I'm much taller than Dunn. And I can barely reach the noose. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Not on his own, at least. Oh, right, that's what right. When he climbed onto the stool, he was not able to reach, right? That was the hint there. Okay, still more. Let's see. Dunn wasn't tall enough to hang himself. Dunn had four different neck marks. Four different neck, neck marks. Yeah, so now I think wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. So this and this because Okay, why I thought was maybe he was forced to, so while he was being forcefully hung on a rope, uh, he like tried to fight back, I guess. That's what I assumed. But let's see. We get four different neck marks. Oh, bloody hell! It's like, and this. Okay, that was unexpected. I didn't know there were like three clues. Oh wait, wait, what? Okay, so there was Dunn had four different neck marks. This doesn't make it. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so four different neck marks. And this the third one is he couldn't have done it himself. We got it, guys. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Clues collected allow new deductions. I can see it, my friends. I can see it. <laughs> I'm a little excited. That was very cool. I know self praise is not self praise, but yeah. What the hell? Okay, Dunn wanted to call off the fight. He wanted to call off the fight, so... Yeah. Christ, could Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? Who 
I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. It's too early to say. I couldn't say. In my line of work, you really shouldn't jump to conclusions. But the chest expander, the box in his locker, the marks on my father's neck. It all leads to him. Yeah, but still. They could have placed it right where you want it. In any be. case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. My father's still dead, and you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Nothing has changed. Mm. Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. So please hurry. Time's wasting. Hmm. Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. But most importantly, why was she so opposed to Yale? John Blacksad? I think I owe you an apology. Hmm. Oh, Larry. I knew he would come by himself. Apology accepted. But what exactly are you apologizing for? <laughs> uh, listen, I don't think my fellow workers treated you with the respect you deserve. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, they didn't know we shared a common goal. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please, kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. You know, I just don't want to be an ass and get beaten up for no reason. You riding in this fancy car with a wrinkled suit, do you? I think you look mighty dapper, Mr. Blacksad. Although, if those wrinkles were to rub off on me... <laughs> I always play it nice and safe. I don't get the point of, you know, fighting back when I know I'm, go I'm just going to get beaten up and thrown into the car. It just doesn't make sense. Why go through that pain, right? Thank you, Black Sad. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. I'm not going to offend him immediately. You know, if everyone worked solo, many people would suffer. Look at me. I could go it alone, but I don't. Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days, and you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. And most importantly, we're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? It's illegal for starters. Illegal? Let me tell you what should be illegal. The way our government is ruining America. 
We live in a so-called free country, a place where honest people can make a living, provided they don't hurt anybody. We're not communists. Well, at least I'm not. I would have never thought otherwise. As for me... I'm not either. Ha! Ah, well then, you see, we're all among friends. In any case, that's not my point. The government betrays our nation's values by passing communist laws that forbid an honest man like me to make a living without hurting a soul. And that, Mr. Black said, is just wrong. I'd even say it's unconstitutional. Do you get my point now? Okay, but that doesn't justify what you do for a living. Oh boy. Did you hear anything I just said? Anyway, when the government passes these laws, there's only one legitimate weapon the people can wield. The same weapon that turned America into a great nation. Civil disobedience. So, as the proud American that I am, it's my duty to disobey. You might have a point to bending the truth. You're bending the truth to justify organized crime. Oh no, it might have been organized crime, but not anymore. I wasn't always a boss, you know. No, sir. I started at the bottom when Lucky Blitzen ran the show. That good for me. His was a reign of terror, extortion, violence, you know, that sort of unpleasant thing. When I took over, I decided I'd make people want to do my bidding. Not out of fear, but out of gratitude. I decided to help people so they would help me. That beating your thugs gave me was really helpful. Thank you so much. Ah, ah, ah. Those poor bastards didn't even know you were a detective. That you were on our side. <coughs> Maybe at first. But when they tied me up and beat the socks off me, they knew very well who I was. Seriously? That goes against my rules. Who was it? It was just Wilson. That bastard. Don't you worry. I will have a serious talk with him. I cannot tolerate this behavior. Please, accept my apologies, Mr. Blacksad. You see, a lot of people work for me. Many families depend on my business. Not only that, St. Christopher's Hospice practically lives on my donations. The widows of my late employees are set for life. Their kids get free schooling. The cops leave me alone because they know my business doesn't hurt anyone. On the contrary. And, ah, it looks like we're here. See, I know it's not gonna hurt me because he wants to, uh, Yale back to get the money he's already probably bet on bet on him, so. And I need to find him and find out, find out more answers on what just happened, so. Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm I on your side. Go ahead, and search the place. I'll wait down here. Just wanted to see what he's going to talk. Maybe you'll change your mind to and share your findings with me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. Wilson, come here. But then there's also a problem where we confronted his friend Jake and told him you shouldn't have taken his, uh, taken his offer. As a bodyguard, so. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Doesn't seem like the best food for a boxer. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. Yeah, could be. Uh, anything else in this room? Mm. Wait a minute. Wait, she said she... 
she didn't know him well right let's see what we could deduce and she's wearing this scarf scarf no and I don't know why I did that I just like what's the third clue I don't know why they, what is what does this have to do with anything Gold. Oh wait a minute! I got it. So she went to the park with him. She got a cold, and Dunn found out. So fought with him. Okay, I actually thought that was gonna be. This gonna do something. first time right why is this even here in this clue I mean, like what what does this have to do with anything did I miss something about this I don't know See, I know where the ma where the scarf is gone. It's not. It's here, but she's got cold now. Doesn't make sense. What could be the third clue? Has to be something to do with him because obviously This has just one clue. Ah. Okay, I need some time to think. Ah. Hmm. Okay, I think this is gonna take some time, and I don't make this a very long episode, so I'm gonna end this here. And in the next episode, we're going to find out what could be the three clues that we found that are linking to one another. <laughs> I hope you guys are actually getting intrigued by whatever 
what's happening right now and uh, are enjoying watching me play because I am enjoying playing it for you guys. Um, anyways, thank you so much for coming over and watching this ep this episode and uh, please do subscribe, please do like, it really helps and to motivate me and publish new videos for you guys. Love you guys so much. Please do subscribe, it would be amazing if you do. Take care guys, love you all. Spunky Gamer, signing off. Take care.